Sunas Omer, a difficult mitzvah to get through, 49 days. And we know that if you forget one night and one day in entirety, one whole 24 hour period, you can no longer carry on counting um, with a bracha. Uh, the view of the Bahag is that if you miss one day, that's it. You can no longer, you've lost it, and you can no longer carry on counting with a bracha. Raises an interesting question. What happens if somebody knows that he will be undergoing an operation in the middle of the period of Sviyasa Omer such that he will be unconscious for an entire night and day? Can he start counting knowing that he won't make it till the end? An interesting question. There are those that want to infer that he can't. And where do we learn this from? There is a halacha that in the Mishnah Bura, Simon Tov Peites, which is the Mitzvah uh, Svir Soma, and he says as follows, that in our countries, the women do not have the custom to count. And he's quoting a Sefer Shulchan Shlomo that gives two reasons. Firstly, the yes, the Hob Bavada Yitu Yom Echod. They'll definitely make a mistake one day. And if they'll definitely make a mistake one day, well, they're going to blow it. The gum al piroiv, enom yodim pirishamidas. Secondly, they don't understand what they're doing, what they're saying. Well, today, uh, fortunately, many of our women do know what they're saying, that we have Jewish education for women today. Um, but what about the first one? They will make a mistake. Well, at least let them count up to that point. Let them count until they make a mistake and then they'll stop. What do we see from here? Someone to say, you see that if you know that you will not make it to the end, there's no point starting. If, however, you look up the Shluch and Shlomo inside, he adds in one short phrase that the Mishnah does not quote. He says, they will definitely make a mistake and they don't know the law. Below Yodim Adim. I.e., they won't know that once you've missed a day, you can't carry on. The truth is, and Rabensian Abashol, in his uh, response, and also Rosham Zaman Oibach, say that even if you will be, even if you'll be totally unconscious for one whole day, you start counting until that point. Well, how does that fit with the Bahan? You haven't counted every day. The answer is that the Bahan isn't saying that you have to count every day. It's just that you cannot carry on after you've missed a day. In other words, one, two, three, four, five. If I forget six, I can't count seven. But one to five was still a counting. But I can't go one, two, three, four, miss six, and now do seven. Counting is only if it is without break. Once there's a break, it's no longer a sphera. But up to the break, it is a count. And I think that's an important lesson for us. We're trying to prepare ourselves for receiving Torah. What we're being told is, you cannot miss a day. Basically, I think if I'm trying to summarize the idea that we're talking about, it is consistency counts. Have a great show.